Good morning, folks. We've got a look at the major storm system raging across the southern United States. We'll check out the seafloor mapping project and some new news on the world's most dangerous volcano. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star because the forecasted uptick may be beginning now. Sunspot number is rising. Solar flaring is creeping back into the mix. We had some notable filament eruptions, including one that may be Earth-directed. After the satellite calibration roll, you can see two filaments releasing on the north. We'll get some closer looks at those here. First one appears to have dissolved into the corona, while the second one likely had a plasma release a few hours ago. The corona graphs are not properly updated with a bit of missing data, so as of this morning, we cannot say if a CME is heading for Earth from the second one, but it will be my focus of analysis today as the new data comes in. We mentioned that solar flaring is slowly creeping back. Here's the X-ray flux chart, and the rise in activity is due to the newly born and incoming sunspots. You'll see the two stabilized older spots here, but on the north, we've got a new grouping, another one incoming at the limb. We still have a couple more days until some of the major groups return from the far side. Solar watch is rising. A major storm system went across the Gulf states last night. It has caused significant damage with lots of lightning, high winds, and a few possible tornado outbreaks. Here is the lightning overlay from GOES, some super bolts in there during its eastward track. The system is driven by the mixture of warm, moist air from the Gulf and cooler, dry air from the north. Their interaction sets off these kinds of storms in the springtime, and it is set to pound Florida even harder this evening. New seafloor mapping project is making progress, still has a long way to go, but it is giving some of the best details we've seen. Here's hoping we can learn more about the buried ancient civilization evidence off the U.S. East Coast when it's finally finished, but I'm not holding my breath. Link to the article and to the product map page are below. Last but not least, if you've been here a while, you know there's no volcano that scares me more in this upcoming disaster cycle than Campi Flegri in Italy. Here they are discovering a vastly more active history than they knew about before, and it fortifies my belief that this caldera will be a brutal aspect of the cycle for Europe when it goes off. Remember, the ground activity is already accelerating there, and it's only a matter of time until it goes. We're five days away from the observer lunch in Colorado Springs, Tuesday, April 16th. Come meet other observers, and we'll be discussing all things in our purview. Rocky is expected to be there with the Big Burb as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.